Nigerian Police Force Public Relations Officer, FPRO, Prince Oluwumoyiwa Adejobi has taken to social media to reply a fan who said we don't have a president yet. Reacting to a recent tweet from the Nigerian Police Force Public Relations Officer, Prince Oluwumoyiwa Adejobi, sharing some photo of top police police officers which included the inspector general of police usman akali baba at friday's juma's prayers in commemoration of the 2023 presidency democracy day in abuja a twitter user tweeted we don't have a president yet so this tweet from the fan claiming we don't have a president yet the nigerian police force public relations officer ulumu yuwa adijobi replied okay now, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, you have, Abi, I hear you. You see how petty, petty these people can be. Somebody who is not even, you know, with the position you are holding, saying all those kind of a thing, you they reply her. The same way, Abi Kedabri, too, they, they embarrass herself. You hold a position, you are, you are, you are, you are replying to banters of uh, people on the street. Very shameless set of people. The same question I have been asking. When some people say the Lagos is no man's land, you are fighting people on the streets. And meanwhile, the so-called leaders of the Igbos, none of them is coming out to, to hit you or to say anything that is so insightful. If you are replying, if you who have authority, who are politicians, who are leaders in the Southwest or under APC, if you are replying anybody in that regard, it's a different thing. Yes, you know that these are the people who are luring or you know, causing pro problem or who are deceiving people or who are trying to cause a katakata, you know, cause a using, you know, telling their people to do the same or to ask in what they have said. No, we don't have such people. We have people, random people who are just speaking on the street. But you, who has a, you that has a, you have the constituted authority, you are replying them. Is it not uh, 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 shameful? It is shameful. You are not replying somebody. So if the person say we don't have a president, does that remove any fast and you are not responding? The same man, I'm sure it was this same man that said uh, that told the uh, Nigerians that uh, MC Olomo was just joking after threatening people. Then that threat was carried out. He said MC Olomo was joking. But see, but they should have said, oh, okay, since the man said this thing, we are watching him. If anything happens, that. We have a iPod. They should just be looking. They'll be looking at him. Then they will now put their beam lights on him. If anything happens, they will bab him because he just said it. It has not happened, but at least they have a knowledge. They have knowledge of what he has, he was planning to do. They quickly swung into action. That time they will not tell you. Oh, we cannot fold our hands and be seeing people or uh, saying all manner of things. But immediately he jumped out and told us. I told Nigerians, told the whole world that M Solomon was was joking. That is to tell you how petty they can be. Yes. You will recall that uh, the former governor of Lagos is Tinubu was sworn in as Nigeria's 16th president on Monday 29th of May 2023 in Abuja. Of course, we know all of that. Nigeria has no president yet, but they have a criminal, a notorious drug lord, and a serial loot looter in temporary position of authority, according to another user online. Mm. Obedient don't have a president yet, but Aso Villa's decision is impacting their daily lives. Very dumb indeed. I think they will soon, you know, grace. Obi on the social media platform, he will be ruling them virtually on social media. Hmm. Interim limb leader, please. Is the subsidy impacting your life? No, ah, they love suffering, no. In fact, they now only have my jury with the things they, they you know that suffering is their watchword. Watch what they don't see anything wrong with that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wow. Yes, now, nah. like I said, <laughs> those amajiris, you know, you know that uh, suffering is a watchword. But those who are claiming, of course, it, it shows the manner to which they are supporting evil and corrupt people. You know what the stuff they are made of, and God is exposing all of them. All of them, they chop with, with, within themselves. They will go inside us and be crying. Hmm. Well, some of you who do not want to accept defeat should try to misbehave and know the answer to your stupidity and arrogance of not knowing when you are defeated. I'm not surprised you are trained not to have moral 
and to support evil and cover truth. Even your religion justify that we have a criminal as a president. Mm. If you check that a rabbit dog and those that are supporting his blood brain thoughts and brainless thoughts, you will know that uh, he must definitely be people who don't even support good things. Hugga, my country could try. You try very well. Go to Asso Rock to say you don't have precedence. <laughs> Your decency and civilization is criminality, rigging, manipulation, touting, supporting evil and incompetency. Yes, you are during in, uh, dwelling in poverty, hunger. I can see you want to remain in the dark. Count me out. We don't have precedence yet. We have no precedence at all. Exactly, we don't have a precedence yet. Mm. Okay. When many of you will land in jail, you will say that uh, you are with Johnson's. Go fly them first now. You want to take them to this whole thing. Ah, why Why is it that? I don't know. Majority of this... Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to say that majority of these Yoruba, they don't say anything wrong. It's a shame. It's a shame. When they tell you that, uh, oh, we have to cover for our people, the North, they used to cover. The Bible says those who cover their sin, they will not prosper. See, they, have, they always cover themselves. They always support. Are they prospering? They're not prospering. So if you're in that category, you see red, you call it white. And you see evil, you call it good. You will never prosper. It is there. The, the 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 law of karma if you don't believe in anything but the law of karma and i'm sure you believe in that even if you don't believe in god you will see evil but if somebody else does that evil you will come out and the and 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 condemn that person but when you when it seems as if it's somebody who you like the person does evil you begin to justify try to be diplomatic that is when you're not be talking about respect so as many who cover evil you will not prosper mm -mm. it is just written and Whatever that goes up, definitely it must come down. Unless you try to hold it. But the law of gravity has stated that. You and Agberos in power should try it and watch this nation burn down. If you want to win chance people and so on. All of them, they had their, they, they call it freedom of speech. This so-called Tinubu that they are, all these Agberos are. I think, I, think, I, just, I think it's only Agberos that we're supporting this kind of person. When he usually talks, he talks anyhow. He wants to play smart now. He wants to go legit. You can't use a gun through backyard door and you want to go legit. Just like somebody, we don't kill now, people finish. You don't kill. Now that money where you get now, you won't go legit. Go they uh, do like say you do, they get business. It will crumble. That is it. Whatever that is built with fraud or corruption, it will not stand. Mm. Can you imagine? Where? It is a constitutional problem. If the judicial process is part of the electoral process, then everything ought to be concluded before power can be given to someone. Of course, okay, somebody said, you don't have a precedent yet because the case is still in court. Maybe on that note, that's why some people are of that uh, opinion. So guys, let's say your opinion and I will sit on this.